to Blood on the Clock Tower. I am your host, Chris the Werewolf Killer, and I today am going to be a noble. I am going to learn that there are, th out of three players, one and only one is evil. Interesting. It's going to be Brody. Let's hope so. So, we're going to do that. And I'm going to also ask him why in the last one where I was a preacher. Oh, because I don't go first. I go after all the meaning stuff. Okay, never mind. So, Brody is evil. It's good to know. And when do I go? Oh, I'm, I don't go any other night. There I am, way at the bottom. I'm going to sit here for a long, long time and do nothing this first night. So you can sit there and just watch as we skip ahead and pass the next five minutes. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> you learn that one and only one of the following three players is evil. Mm -hmm. Brody. <laughs> Wami. Oh. And Kyle. Ah, oh, oh, poor Kyle. <laughs> poor Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> He's in an elite group of misfits right there. <laughs> All right. Oh, good stuff. All right, yep. cool. Good luck. We'll see what happens. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Now, who do I want to mess with first? Guami? <laughs> sure. Why not? <clears throat> All right, look at everybody. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Somebody's probably got the camera off. Yeah, nope. probably win. Oh, yep. yeah, yep. <laughs> Definitely win. Yep. <laughs> Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three. Okay. Good morning, everybody. I'm going to open up breakout rooms. Hopefully, this game was a little bit longer than the last two. <laughs> I want to get about seven and a half minutes for this first day. Um, so before guys, people... Go ahead, Jen. Yeah, I was just going to say, we just need to make sure this game goes right. Uh, minions, just raise your hand so we can make sure we get the count right. Yep. Oh, are there um, three of you? Uh, Let's see. Count. Uh, oh, first raise hand. Okay, I curious. actually... Well, I know what one of the minions is because last night Sam woke me up to tell me that we've got a widow in play. And because they already know who I am, I'm just going to say out loud... I am the innkeeper, and we have a widow in play. So that also means we don't have to deal with the huntsman and damsel but BS. So, so that's what I got. That's what I got for you. I am the innkeeper who found out that we have a widow. I am in an excellent mood. So you're running. You're running the All same right. play that Gwami did. Good. Yeah, unless it's my play from last <laughs> game. <Yeah. laughs> oh, I know who I'm going to slip over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, Jeremy, let's do this. Let's let's go talk. Oh, let's go talk. Room. My yes. room. So, if anyone's requesting innkeeper protection services, be my guest. Kyle, do you want to talk? Brody, do you want to talk? Sure, sure. Jeff. Yeah, whoever wants to talk to, you. to you, Brody, come to the right. Brody room. Wait, who wants to talk to me? You're my neighbor, but I usually give you about till day four to warm right. up. Come to my room. And even when you talk to me, you forget to tell me the things you're supposed to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That old game, you were just like, oh, yeah. I was, like, I was supposed to tell her something. I'll tell you something tomorrow, four days oh. later. Oh, right. wasn't right. I going to tell By you something? By the way. <laughs> Whoops. Right. That made right. me look so good. I mean, I definitely didn't. That was hilarious. So I was like, Chris. <laughs> Mm -hmm. How did you forget? Uh, and I talked well, to you like a couple of times. I, was about... I know we talked a couple times. Matthew, are you on Never that? said it. Yeah, we can go. Mm. Um, Me. my room. Okay. Anybody <laughs> want to talk? Left. Me. I'm left. Who's left? Yeah, I mean, I'm here. I don't have much to share at Not this either. point. Me neither. So. But yeah, I'll chat. Yeah. More. Okay. I'll okay. to you, man. Okay. I have to let my neighbor get his system warmed up before mm. he's... 
ready to have conversations with the anybody else girl. requesting innkeeper protective services yes all right chris come to me in the brody room oh in the brody room oh yeah okay that's where the magic happens and the ends are kept okay Hello. Hello. Innkeeper Protective Services, how can I help you? Yes. Protect me. Don't let me die. All right. Protect you, but the price is knowledge of what you are or how I might affect you if you are drunk. Well, if you, you can affect me if you're drunk, that'd be great. Because I'm the klutz. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know if you really want to protect me, but you definitely won't make me drunk. Or maybe you don't, because I'll just pick you. Yeah, we could also kill you. We, we could also kill you early, and you could protect me, or you could choose me rather. Yeah, I wouldn't protect you. There's no. Or, yeah, choose. Me. <laughs> yeah, choose me. I should say, but I, I likely won't. Protect. As long as I'm still alive, I think I'm the best choice. But that's also me saying that play, play however you so choose. That's true too. So there. All you right. Go. Well, we we might dump you out early just to re remove doubt. Don't do that. Yeah, I'm not saying I will or won't. It's just a possibility. All right, don't be telling people my role. <laughs> I, I won't. I won't tell anyone your role. Like I'll keep something mum at least. Okay, sounds good. Then I then I will trust you for now. It sounds good. All right, excellent. All right. Cool. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Bye. I'm such a liar. <laughs> All right, Jeff. Want to have a chat in my room? Sure. All right, come to me. All right. I don't trust Jeff. <laughs> Is he frozen? I think he's frozen. There's nobody in here. All alone and I cannot move there. I am just all by myself. I just know that I'm all alone, yeah. No one else is in the room with me. Oh, here we go. Ooh. You can keep signing, Chris. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Maybe I will. Yes, I will. <laughs> no. All right. You guys figure out who the evil team is yet? Uh, I haven't gotten to talk to him yet. Oh. Manny. One just came Lynn. in. I don't know. Oh, Matthew's one of the evil team. Okay. Oh. That's what Robert said. I'm just repeating what he said. No, I just implied it. I didn't say it. Oh, Dad, can we talk? Oh, disembodied voice. Kwame. Yes. Should we talk, Kwame? Let's talk. Ned, uh, can yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. We can talk. Yeah, okay. My room. Uh, your room. Uh, my room? Yep. Hello. Hello. How are you today? What would you like to talk about? My glorious role. And your glorious role. Let's talk about them. Huh. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm I'm the I'm the klutz. So okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose you. Um. Uh, I. I'm yep. sure you are. That's right. How can you be the klutz? Why, how can I not be the Clint? Um, because there can only be one of each role in play. Yes, and? And you're not the Klutz. Well, who's the Klutz? Not um, anybody me? else? Me? No, I'm the Klutz. Yeah, you're evil. <laughs> <laughs> I am not evil. <laughs> you are evil, I can tell. No, you're evil. I am not evil. You're not the Klutz. I'm the klutz. I am the klutz. You're not the klutz. <laughs> I'm the klutz. You're not the klutz. I'm the klutz. Uh, no. <laughs> I am the klutz. <laughs> no, I am All the right. klutz. Awesome. All right. Well, number I'm one we on my, No, on I'm my... not number one on your list. I am the klutz. Yes, you are. No, I'm 100% good, and I am the klutz. Uh, no, you're not. Yes. Why don't you believe no. me? Uh, because I'm the klutz. 
<laughs> so, all right. So it was nice talking to you, Chris. I'll talk to you is later. Is this an Undertaker move? I remember your Undertaker move. No, it's not on a, are, <laughs> <laughs> are you claiming my you're claiming my role, buddy? <laughs> no, you're you're claiming to be so me. Don't even go there. Don't even. <laughs> no, you, sir, are an no. impostore. <laughs> I, I I see where you're playing now. All right. Well, this was a good conversation, though. I learned yeah, a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Me too. <laughs> All right. We'll catch you later. Nobody wanted to talk to me in the end. No. Who? Who is me? Oh, Kyle? Yeah. Well, are you evil, Kyle? I am not evil. But that's exactly what an evil person would say. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Now I know. It's also what a good, it's also what a good person would say. So I, I would disagree with that. All right. Well, welcome back, everybody. You have uh, two minutes until nominations open. Of I've course, been... there's also gossips if you want to do those. I've been known to claim evil when I was good. I'm not going to gossip because you already know what I am. <laughs> Brody, can we talk tomorrow? I would love to chat with you. Okay. Um, I'll start the gossiping, I guess. Um, I'll gossip that the demon is between Chris, Candace, Robert, Jeff, or Matthew. I would like to gossip oh. that werewolf killer is evil oh. that's a good bet that's a terrible idea i guess that the demon well, nobody's the demon's know. name has four letters or less i will I gossip that brody is the innkeeper <laughs> somebody gonna die behind that one <laughs> <laughs> oh. man walking <laughs> i will gossip that Jeremy's the klutz because somebody needs to die if he is. <laughs> uh, uh, um, <laughs> I'll, I'll gossip that the demon is between uh, Manny and Lynn inclusive. What's that? Obviously, because otherwise I would just say <laughs> no, exclusive. Oh, you, oh. you know it's exclusive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Manny and Lynn. Wow, that's a big circle. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I mean. I mean, the, that's like everybody the, but the me. Three, the, the three? The three? No, the, sh- no, no, the short end. The three. The three. Okay. The three. Not everybody but me. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not uh, trying to vouch for Gwathi. I'll, uh, with my <laughs> I'll gossip that the demon is a fan goop. I will gossip that the demon has five letters in their name or under. All right. How many letters does Chris Werewolf Killer count for? More than five. <laughs> More than five because it's Chris Werewolf. Just, just I will gossip that we have just less that than two now. outsiders in play. Hey, Chad. All right. Ooh, All right. Well, nominations are open. There's one. I would like There's to nominate one. Werewolf Killer. Uh, let me see. Guamami nominates Chris Werewolf Killer. State your case. Uh, he is evil. He's claiming my role, and <laughs> that—that's all I gotta say. It. <laughs> he did not yes. back down either. Shenanigans, shenanigans. Chris, your defense. I am not his role. I am my role, which is good. So, take that as you will. Do not kill me. I am on a good team. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, everybody. All right. Let's need seven for the chopping block. <laughs> Whoa. I guess. Per- yeah. I guess Look per- at all those hands, know. Guami. We per- got some people. I don't necessarily think that, and he's evil. But I also, if because I know there's a widow, I'm not necessarily sure he's going to get killed at night. Seven is enough. Any more nominations? I will nominate Jeff. Chris nominates Jeff. State your case. I have hard evidence that Jeff is evil. And that is because of my role. So I will leave it at that. Um, I mean, all right. I, I wasn't. I, I wasn't one hundred percent sure that Chris was evil, but I am now. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> um, I, you know, I, you know, if if you guys want to execute me, that's fine. But Chris is definitely evil. 
Um, if you execute me today, execute Chris tomorrow. <laughs> based off of that, because there's zero chance that he has hard evidence that I'm equal. All right, this needs seven to tie and eight to beat. Brody, I'm the seamstress. Not a good. Brody, I'm the seamstress. I rest Excellent. my case, Kwame. And that was Jen saying that. Yep. Good to know. Hmm. Four is not enough. Second call for nominations. I nominate Brody. Who is that? Jen. Jen. <laughs> Jen. Nominates Brody. State your case. Mm, just a hunch I have on Jeff telling Brody that he's something and me saying that and then him not voting for it. For Jeff. <clears throat> All right. Wait. Brody, your defense. Wait, Jen, did you say that you used your ability? I didn't say I did or did not use my ability. Okay, I could have. All I heard you say was that you seemed, I didn't tell. I didn't know if you did or did not use it. Okay. Defense. <laughs> like that, yeah, and, yeah. I think I've, I think I've told everyone that everything that I know. So make the call that way. All right, seven to tie and eight to beat. Having said, having said that, Jen yeah. might not be the worst case for a puzzle master guess. If I know what, if mm. I'm picking something up, I could be wrong. Any other nominations? Well, they, they do only get one guess, and I have potentially another possibility. So I think yeah. we need to wait a little bit. Yeah. And, and of course, with, with the widow in play, like they definitely poison someone so it might be hard to yeah. tell who's poisoned who's like widow poison and who's puzzle master right yeah last call chris, for nomination yeah, chris, chris could be poisoned all right i want to count down from 10 oh yeah hold on before you start the count so if uh if i was puzzle master drunk can they still choose me as the puzzle master oh yeah right. okay. puzzle master could choose somebody as long as they're awake. okay yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yeah. Team from five. All right. Chris has been executed and dies. The game continues. I'm the klutz, and I'd like to choose Guami. All right. Game is Chris over. chooses Guami. The game continues. That's how you do klutz, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs> Case in point, I wasn't really the clutch, but I still wanted to do all that. That was fun. <sighs> and we will learn nothing tonight. Um, yeah, I still think it's Kyle and, and Jeff, but maybe there's a different reason why I jumped across the table and it's just Kyle. Or maybe I'm just the puzzle master drunk i don't know we'll find out boom 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 all right everybody's probably back so good morning uh kyle has died in the night lynn has died in the night and you have about six and a half minutes for today I speak to... chris can i talk to you yes yes what you can the hell? let's go to my i'll room. come to you okay i'd like to talk to you guami Hello. All right. So real fast, I have a question for you. In the script, I don't see a way that the demon can be transferred, correct? Uh, if there's a Fangu, then it can, if they pick a outsider, they can, the Fangu okay. dies and the outsider becomes a new demon. Okay. Then I know you are not the demon because you did not, um, you were an outsider or so you claim. Are you still claiming that? Not in this room with just the two of us. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> So I, I know you're not the demon. 
I, well, I don't, well, actually, no, I know you're not the demon. Um, what are you claiming to be? Oh, shoot. You could still be evil. Okay, I'll tell you who I, tell you who I am okay, and why I'm very curious about this. Um, so I am the fortune teller. Okay. I I was bluffing as the soldier to try not to die. Um, I made a big, bold claim. Uh, so first night, I guessed you and Chris just picked my neighbors on one side. I got a yes. The only person yesterday I Wait, told... Hold on, I'm Chris. So you picked me and Chris, but how did you? Pick sorry, me you and Jer- sorry, you and Jeremy. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> sorry, you and Jeremy. Okay. I was told a yes, and I chose. I know I chose. I thought it was you over Jeremy, just because no reason. And so I told Jeremy who I was, and who I would be bluffing as, and lo and behold, I died in the night. Hmm. See what you did there? That was a mistake. <laughs> uh well yeah no but i got some information from it oh, yeah. so it's either jeremy is the demon one uh you were my red herring what i found interesting is i told jeremy that i picked you and candace and as soon as we were done with that conversation he immediately in the last 30 seconds of whispers ran off to candace huh so I think either Jeremy or Candace is the demon. You are my red herring. That's where I'm going right now. And I'm mm-hmm. I'm dead, so let's see where they're looking at. Candace is talking to Matthew. Guami talked to Matthew day one. I could see I could see Candace, Matthew, Guami, and Jeremy all being evil. That would make a logical sense to me. And I'm willing to put some money on that, even though I could be completely wrong. Because I will tell you that I was actually the noble. And that's where I'm going to... Oh. Yeah, I'm going to... Even though there's a chance that there's a Vigor Mortis and you are the demon's minion killed... I am not. Which is fine. But yes. If that's... Yep. I'm still doing it anyways, because there's a widow. Yep, you're fine. But, so... If I saw you... Which is another reason why I think you might be the evil. I saw you, Wami, and a Brody as one of you is evil. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So okay. if um, Guami... Jeremy oh. Jeremy uh, told me he was the gossip. That's that's all I got from him. I mean, that's all he had at the point. Um. So I think Jeremy might. Jeremy might, yeah. or I could be drunk, and or I could be drunk, and this could be all, all for naught. But Jeremy and Candace are the two that I'm suspicious of, based off my information and dying right away. That's fair. I could, so, I could totally see that being the evil team. Those four. Oh, and there's four this time. Yep. All right. So you got you got who me you Guami, Bro- and who and Brody. Brody, Brody came out day one. I mean, he could be lying. I totally could see him lying as te- through his teeth. Yep. And Jeremy, you said... Make the big, bold claim, yeah. Yep, Jeremy claims gossip. Okay. So. All right, so I'm going to see if I can get some information. I'm going to see if I can talk to Candace. All right. Suss out some suspicions. All right, Sounds talking cool. with it. you. Yep, we'll talk soon. wondering about hello gents hello jen was your seamstress claim yesterday legit it is is that real okay that's what you're going this, like i said i don't see any point in anybody hiding the roles and i think that jeff claimed uh, at least one person if not more that he was the seamstress which makes me suspicious and then the fact that brody uh when i outright say it in the middle of town square that i'm the seamstress if Jeff claimed it to Brody like he said he did, then Brody mm-hmm. should have been suspicious. And the fact mm-hmm. that he's not also makes me suspicious. So. Let's go talk, Jen. I have reason to be suspicious of Jeremy and or Candace. All right. Well, let me go talk to Chris T and we can just ex- explore that later, Kyle. You got it. All right. All right.
I don't know if I went to the right room. Let's see if I can find him. Whose room am I in? Jen's. No, he can't. He's coming here. There we go. There, here, we go. there he is. Okay. So, I tend to believe that's a possibility. And I will say that as the actual... Uh, you're the second and only the second person... I'm only going to tell you and the other person that I told. I am not the klutz. Okay. I am the noble. Alright. I picked... I, I didn't pick. I saw Guami, Kyle, and Brody. One of them is evil. The reason why I pushed on J Jeff was because I saw day one, Kyle jumped across the table to Jeff. Mm. And I was immediately thinking that Kyle could easily be evil. I also saw okay. Guami talk to Matthew day one, and Kyle s says that he doesn't trust Jeremy and Candace, which I also noticed... Oops. Keep that right, and that's what I thought at first. But, uh, yeah. Candace, I don't know if you heard the last part. Well, that that's was okay. Fun. You can tell me tomorrow. It's like, fun. just you can tell me tomorrow. Like, it's pause. Fun. Like, well, welcome I, back, I everybody. You got two minutes before nominations open. I don't know one way or the other, but I think we can take time. It, it would be nice to know <laughs> if what if something <laughs> that Jen told me is completely sober info. Okay, that makes sense. Track whispers on day one. That makes sense. Uh, I've got some, but I don't know if I. I don't think I got them all. Can uh, I? I got a lot of them. What's up? Can you send me the? Can somebody send me them? Because I think that is a good indicator of the kills that happen in the night. Yeah, because the widow talked to the demon. Um, one assuming of the, the widow exists. Yeah. Um, oh. Chris, are you sticking with the clutch claim, or was that a? Uh, yeah, that's good to know. Theme? Wouldn't it be good <laughs> yeah, to know? Chris. Oh, he's just being Chris. I wouldn't. I got I got nothing to say it. today. No. Other than what I've already said. All right. That so, makes yes. I heard you was evil. All right. Yep. I've <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, here's the trick. I've heard of a double claim on Klutz now with one Klutz still being alive. I've also heard a claim of an outside of another outsider, I should say. So that indicates to me, unless I'm, unless I have something wrong. Thank you, Godfather. That, yeah, that's that's telling me thank you, Godfather. I, I'm not sure exactly if that's it's like. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's hard confirmed uh, or not. If yeah, there's two but, outside, oh, yeah, man, yeah. And thank you could jump, or maybe has jumped. We just don't know. Right. Right. So I, with, with and with that thank you possibility, I'm worried that if we get rid of. I'm inclined to get rid of those outsiders early just to remove all doubt, but then we'd lose an extra one to the Godfather, which isn't inherently bad if I happen to protect the right people, but that's a risk. And if Chris is actually is is actually the real klutz, and that's how we got the two kills yesterday, could also be an assassination. I didn't protect anyone who was killed, so that's why it would, be, it would be nice to know if Chris really was the klutz. Oh, the options yeah. Nominations are open. I, I, I just, think, I just uh, like to counter what Brody said. I, I think we try to go for the demon now, and if we get, if we get to the point later where we think that they've jumped, I mean, we know. I, I think there's a couple people who know who the outsiders are, and then we have know. a good target. But if we do it, if we do it early and we're wrong, then you're right. We're going to get a Godfather kill, and that's yeah. that's not good. If we do it true. later. Yeah. And for what it's worth, I think I know who the gossip is, which would also know. which would also explain the second I, kill. I think that explains the second kill. I, I know who the gossip is as well. I, I I'm That's not the same person. There's there's two people claiming gossip, just so everybody's aware. Really? I yep. Based off of the, I don't know. I feel like it's not a gossip kill. That that's just my read on it. Based off of the information that I have. Do we want to do gossips gone. for the day, by the way, guys? Oh. Mm -hmm. you know, it's... Mm. it's risky. Oh. Okay. Get three. I don't know, kills. but Jeff, um, the information that's out there checks out. So I don't I know will... what your counter information is, but it checks out. 
I will gossip okay. that Which there is, is a ping on either Brody or Guami. What does that mean as a gossip? That by whom? Oh yeah, you have to. You have yeah. As a maybe maybe as a storyteller, I I wouldn't know how to. Yeah. Take that. Be more specific. I will gossip that either Guami or Brody are evil. There we go. That's better. I will gossip that Brody is evil. So, uh, Jen, did you use your ability? <laughs> it just did. I may, hear I may or not. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if I if I'm reading this right, I think he already did, which also why I'm fine nominating Mommy once gossips are over. I will gossip that the demon is not sitting next to their minion or a minion, I guess. The nominations are open now for anybody who wants to do one. But you can wait for gossip too. That's up to you. Yeah. I have some suspicion on Jeff and Matthew and probably Guami. Oh, I'm gonna nominate Jeff. Okay. Robert. Nominate Jeff. State your case, please. Uh part social read. Um, part um, just antipathy uh, and um, part um, information pointing towards him. So. A- antipathy? Jeff, Jeff yeah. your defense? Yeah. Sure. Um, I'm just salty. Wherever, why? I don't know why. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to kill me, you can. Um, I, I don't have an active ability anymore. Uh, I I'm the clock maker. I got a one. And that's it. Um, you know, I'm not a bad kill. Uh, if but if there's another, I'd like to put about five on it. If there's a better option, then switch to that. But I don't care if I die. I think having six it's, is a bit much. We're here. Yeah, for yeah five, I'm chopping ball. Yeah, at, at, yeah. At six, yeah. So. And per and pertinent info, this is a good kill. it matches my what hand down it matches first. what Jeff has told me, and it it does not it match could, what Jeff has told me. My, I I I lied to you so that if the demon attacked me, that's uh, totally fine. Yep, exactly. Oh, well, that was going to happen. Uh, uh, four well, is not enough. Said to keep it up. Really, Robert? Okay. No, no crap. I mean, this. Oh, I that, was the, that was that was I, Manny. Can we talk tomorrow? <laughs> Robert made a mistake. I think. I think. No, I made I made a mistake as well. Um, I right. didn't realize Robert took it down. So, no, you made the right problem. move as an evil death, person. Guess number makes it really uh, difficult. I think to put no, a I, down, depending on how the deaths came out, it's possible. It's possible. But I, I, it basically has to be Matthew or Candace, if that's the here's case. here's the Based next thing to me, Brody. Yeah, Brody, did yeah. he claim yeah. seamstress to you or not? He did not. Okay. Me? Oh, right. No, I think because I came out like so early with me knowing that there's a widow, people have been coming to me, and like if they haven't told me their exact roles, they'd give me three for threes. Jeff gave me his. Jeff gave me Clockmaker. Second call I, for so Jeff, did you not tell me that you had told Brody that you were the, the seamstress? Did hey, I misunderstand oh. something? No, I mean, I told Kyle that I was a seamstress. I, I told Brody my role. All right, I have some pertinent information and I can't, I can't nominate. So um, I was the fortune teller. Um, I only got to use my ability on night one. I picked Jeremy and Chris. I got a yes. Immediate, and I so I picked one of them to just come out to to play. If I die, then I might know the, the demon, or if I get the right person, I get the right person, the good person. Um, I told Jeremy that I was the fortune teller, and then I picked Chris and Candace and got a yes. Immediately after that conversation, he in the last 30 seconds of day one, ran to talk to Candace right away. 
So um, it could be drunk and this could him. be bad information. I did talk to him that day. But yeah. that's what I've got. And I can't use my ability anymore, so it doesn't really matter. We've got a puzzle master. I think we have a few decent candidates mm -hmm. to choose. Do we have one? Also, Kyle, you could have hit a, a, a red herring ping. I, yeah. I, know. I do well, see I know. that. I do know. Yep. That I do know. Yeah. I do, see, I do see um, a possibility of that like being a social thing that you could read, but it does seem very obvious to go for you right away That at that point. Um, it's more easy for them to try to play off a red herring. Last you know, call is it for nomination. And I did tell everyone that there was a widow, so I'm not actively surprised that someone as powerful as the fortune teller got whacked out right away. Up, mm -hmm. yeah. Jeremy nominates Matthew. Jeremy nominates Matthew. Stay your case. Stop. Stop. Well, with that information, um, I will come out. I am the gossip. I gossiped yesterday that Chris, Candace, Robert, Jeff, or Matthew were the demon. We did have two kills. I'm not 100% sure that's why. But then when I talked to Matthew today, he started to soft claim gossip to me and then started to backtrack once um, I made it known that I was the gossip. So He's probably not the demon, but he's probably some type of minion that either didn't get his bluff or he's making a weird play. And Matthew, if, you're def oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, and if Jeff's one is correct, and I think Matthew is evil, but I don't, I don't think Jeff's actually the clockmaker, that would point to Ned or Jen being with Matthew, but I don't necessarily think that's true. All right. Matthew, your defense. What I can say is I've given my three to a few people, but other than that, I haven't really claimed to anybody. All right. With that, uh, this needs five for the chopping block. I don't know if I buy that defense. I'll wait until after the vote to ask Matthew a quick question. I'll vote for it, but uh, hmm. like it did beat six. Five is enough. Wait, wait, I, I, uh, I, I looked away from the Zoom when, when Jack was being nominated. Robert took his hand down, and I took my helm down as well. Yeah, um, I just wanted to that five. Uh, I did account. They're both I, simultaneous. Okay, I think now, we both we both Matt had the same idea. Mm -hmm. I I have a um, question for Matthew. Was your three for three truthful or were you trying to cover for something else? The three for three you gave to me. I was kind of covering for something else. Okay. I won't press well, further then. Last call for nominations. I think Guami's a better nomination. I don't disagree with that sentiment. I'm fine with that as well. So I, I, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a bad move on my part because I think I know who is cursed, but I will nominate Guami. All right. Jen nominates Guami. Get your case. Okay. Whew. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm not dead first. Uh, second, uh, I, do, I did note that Matthew did talk to Guami um guami did talk uh to chris t as well um i do kind of lean towards this possibly being a vigo game but i could be wrong um i know that we're thinking about all these outsiders but if there was a vigo outsider is a great bluff um considering uh you don't you have four people you have to try to figure out uh what your bluff is going to be and everyone's going to rush to outsiders so a double claim of outsider isn't that uh mm -hmm. surprising um, so I don't know. This seems like as good a kill as any, unless there's some other reason that we can't do it. And I'd be interested to hear how many people exactly have that other reason. If it's exactly three, then we know we're on the right track. Want me your defense? Uh, yep. Uh, I have no issues dying. Um, I kind of don't want to be in the final three with my role, and it'd probably be better to kill me now while there's more players alive. All right. Well, not this so I'll, five. I'll vote, I'll vote to make sure we don't tie. For an info, I entire, I one hundred percent agree. Five to tie and six to beat. Who's on the block? I agree with Matthew. Matthew, Matthew, is, on the block. Matthew is currently Matthew, on the block. Matthew is already on the block. Yeah. 
Jen, Matthew. Jen, when you <laughs> said uh, Guami talked to me day one, are you trying to imply that I'm evil too? No, I'm just oh. I'm just noting <laughs> who everyone talked to. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Hmm. All right, six is enough. Guami is now on the block. Did the evil team just save? We have a got. Right. Right. I have Godfather, a question for you. This isn't great, but we'll at least learn something. Right. <sighs> Sam, I have a question for you. Yeah. At what point on the first night does the widow, would the widow get to see that I was drunk from a puzzle master or another role? Yes. Uh, the yeah, they would. They would. Yeah. Master, yeah. They, yeah, they they would see who is drunk uh, from a puzzle master. Okay. It leads me to trust my information way more because if the widow saw that I was drunk, I'm fine with killing Guam I mean, today, but if the widow saw that I was drunk, there'd be no reason to kill me in the night. They'd want to keep me alive to keep my drunk information in the game. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Count down you, from 10. You, you have to remember there were two kills that night. So one of those kills wasn't the demon. Right. I also fast. don't like that Guami just voted for himself. Yeah, but that gives us information too. Yeah. All right. Guami has been executed and dies. I would like to choose Brody. Okay, I assume that is a clutch claim. That is correct. All right. The game continues and also that continues. Seems, oh, really easy. Jeremy, that's how you do it. <laughs> yeah. I don't think either one of you guys are actually the clutch. Circle of I, so, right, right. Con Congratulations I'm on making it farther than. Anywhere previous two attempts tonight. Uh, good night, everybody. All right. Thank you. Never gonna hear the end of it. I hope that every time we execute somebody, they claim clutz. I don't even care if they're the clutz, but let's do it. All right. Good morning, everybody. You wake up to find that nobody has died. <laughs> Very and uh, you give about five and a half minutes, roughly. Hmm. I'm only missing one, two, Manny, Matthew, Ned, and Candace for spots. I think it was uh, Brody, anybody want to talk? Protect... I... Candace, you I don't want to talk? I protect you. Yes, we'll come to mine. Yeah. Brody, can I talk to you? Yes, please do. Come to, yeah, come to the Brody room. Jen, you want to chat? Uh, sure. Yours? Yep, that'll work. Mm -hmm. Nope. Is that not going to work? It's going to work. It's not going to work. We can't hear you, Lynn. I don't know what you're saying. <clears throat> yeah. Mute and unmute. That worked last time. Uh, Matthew, would you like to chat? Yeah, yes, that's better. Okay, my two I said Matthew, would you were Candace and Manny, honestly, socially reading, and they both just went to talk to each other. <laughs> well, I know what Manny's claiming. Well, in that case, Lynn, Me do you too. want to talk? Uh, yeah, to which one, Jeff? Yeah, to me. Um, I guess my room yeah, is fine. Can um, right, yeah. I join that, Lynn? Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm rather dead. <laughs> Me too. I'm okay <laughs> with it. Part of the dead club. Yeah, Lynn. What? I don't know what you uh, what role you were. Um, I was chambermaid. Um, so in since we're both, it makes sense that we both died. If there's uh, a widow in play, yeah. Yeah, I checked Ned and Jen the first night. The only information I got, and I mean the number I got does check out with what roles they are claiming. Yep. D did you get a okay. one or two then? Because I think Jen used his immediately. Hit one. I got a one. Okay. Do we know if Jen used Seamstress right away or no? I think he um, said he used it on second night. He used it on second night, but he went, He woke up. He was woke up anyway the first night 
just to add, get asked, right, if he used it or not. So true. Yeah. Oh, does that still count as a? As I think that does count because his ability woke him up. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, I was a little suspicious of Ned, but I mean, I don't know. It's interesting that he's claiming the role he is, and he's still alive. Who was, who was, the, does anyone know the second, who claimed to be the second gossip? I know it was Jeremy I, and. Uh, I am not sure, actually. Because, so my whole spiel, Jeremy claimed to be the gossip to me. And Chris, you're either my red herring or Jeremy's the demon. Because I do not think I am drunk. I was drunk based off of them killing me or if he was the gossip and Sam's just an evil, evil person and killed me as the gossip kill. Oh yeah. I would hate that. I think he would only do that if we were really doing well as a good team. I would hope at least. Yeah, and I, I don't hope. think we're really doing well. No. <laughs> so it, it leads me to think that my first night information was good and that you were either my red herring or Jeremy's the demon. I Is Or that... Jeremy yeah. could have been your red herring too, I guess, technically. True. Okay, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. True. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If he's good. Uh, Jeremy could be red herring. Um like honestly, either like no offense, Chris, but obviously between you or unless you're claiming damsel to me right now, like between you and Guam, one of you has evil because you're claiming the same role i was i was um, lying i'll, I'll, I'll I give do you think him... oh, go ahead oh oh she's completely gone now oh no, what's your back. Back? oh i was lying i'm not the i'm not the klutz uh i don't oh, want it really? i don't want it out in public i was the noble and my three people i saw kyle guami and brody so i kind of just went to guami and i made myself the klutz because I wanted to see if they would kill me at night and maybe get take a shot. Um, he claimed klutz, which I still don't trust necessarily. But if he's if he's evil, then it could be Jeff's clockmaker could make it Manny and Guami. I think it's Manny and Candace. I think and Manny it, and Candace are evil. Yeah, it could be Manny could be the demon. Guami's evil, and so is Candace because there's four, right? And it could still be mm -hmm. Jeremy evil. I don't know. I still, mm, I'm not sure about Jeremy. I haven't made up my mind with him. My demons to me right now are either Jeff or Manny, just based on my information that I got. But I mean, Jeff I would lean more towards Manny right now. What about Robert? I don't know. I know nothing about Robert. About Robert. Yeah, I know nothing about Robert. Mm. Well, <laughs> I mean, Jeff is super suspect because he lied to me. He didn't even include his actual role in one of the three he gave me. Yeah. Day one. Yeah. Like, and he's clockmaker, so. so why would he care, right? I mean, if you're clockmaker and there's a widow, I mean, why are you trying to hide that? Right. And he saved himself right. from death. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Which could have been nothing. That could have. Brody, been I was trying to talk to you. Yeah, I I ended up getting tied up with. Robert all day, but Could I be drunk? come back. You got yeah. two minutes before nominations open. Yeah, it's possible. Were you uh, innkeepered? No, I was I not innkeepered. In okay. I, I innkeepered two people last night. Obviously, there were no deaths. I'm not sure if that means I was successful in preventing the demon from killing or if we got a Poe who's just charging up for the big reveal. Or so, you corrected one and a soldier was the other account. And that's also cool. true. That's also true. That's a possibility. And I'd like to I'd like to also pause it. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll let Robert take the floor with his Vigo theory. Uh, well, it's a it's a crackpot theory, but um, that um, that uh, you know, Kyle could be um, a minion who was Vigo um, killed. Um, you know, we know we have a. I, we suspect we have a widow. I'm suspecting myself as widow poisoned, but that's there's more to the theory. But I won't, you know, I won't put the strings it's, up. It's on not. The, on the, it's not um, possible we have a Vigo. 
Mm-hmm. Why is that? We've, outsider. we've had three people. Not... Yeah, yeah, there's, the there's, there's too many. There's, not there's not too many up. outsiders. If there's a Vigo, oh, yeah. it'd have to okay, be Vigo well, and Godfather, and then you still have a net of zero outsiders. Um, which means all the outsiders are lying. Two of them died basically by their own will uh, on the very, you know, to yeah. execution. If they so are, it, they it can't be bigger. Well, it's, you're saying that they're telling be. the truth. But I still think it can be. Yeah, yeah. Were, I, I mean, know. that's right. They could be lying, but but that's two true. people. They could be good and lying outside. too. Just to yeah. I know one yeah. of them was lying. Yeah. Them, so. yeah. One it of them. Just be diversion. I don't know. Of the Chris two clutch claims, I trust Wami more. Yeah, obviously one of them isn't an outsider, but oh. I'm just I'm just saying. Let me. Can't be a bigger. It can't be more. Let me put some information out there. Um, I did use my ability last night. I saved it uh, two nights, assuming that if the widow was in play, they could very well have known that I could be affected or I could not be affected. And I would just think I was affected based on the fact that there's widow and puzzle master and innkeeper and a lot of other things that could uh, do things. So I saved it figuring if I live three turns, that's the best time to use it. I chose Brody and Jeremy and I got that they are not on the same team. Um, I hmm. do not want to out where I've got information from, but I also have that uh, three people. Uh, one could be evil, and that would be Guami, Brody, and Kyle. Um, and uh, another piece of information that uh, I don't know h- how to feel about, so I will hold off on that one unless they want to come out with that information. Can, can we kill no. Jeremy? Nominations are open. It's, I mean, you can kill me if you want to. It's not going to do anything. But here's the problem with Jen's theory is I am the gossip. I gossiped the first day, which could have been why we potentially got two kills. And Kyle, if you were drunk or poisoned, that could have been why they killed you. But if that's the case, then Jen is evil cool Um, the other explanation is that i'm widow poisoned and brody is evil i think that you you can't kill me today it's fine what what was your gossip yesterday jeremy that brody was good i would like to nominate jeremy all right Brody nominates Jeremy. Brody dies. Yep. Oh. It was an oh, honor wrong. being your innkeeper. And uh, Brody, <laughs> say your case. I think my death's. A, I think my death is a good accusation. All right, Jeremy, your defense against that. Yeah, I think you probably have to kill me now, but I think Jen is setting this up a little bit with the seamstress play i'm kind of suspicious of jen but i think you probably have to kill me now just to clear this before we get to final five all right this needs four for the chopping block i I think you need to do this good yes i'm I'm using my ghost vote if i need to i don't think it's worth a ghost vote but i think it's worth it well and someone else needs to vote i'm not buying Uh, all right all right Four is enough. I'm using ghost vote. Yeah. Nobody else wanted to, and Kyle has reasons yeah. to believe. I mean, to. Um, and based I'll off of you. my information, I needed that. That's the best kill based off of what I received. Then I like to use my slayer shot on Jeremy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, why no. didn't you do it on me, Ned? Come on. Oh, well. Come on, well, what happens? <laughs> Play him slayer and shoots Jeremy. Jeremy dies. Oh. Oh. The game ends. Oh. We're just about to kill him anyway. Oh, <laughs> 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 good team has won. So Ned, don't do it. As I, I say, know. it wasn't. It wasn't a gossip kill. It was an assassin kill. Yeah. yeah that's oh, what I, of I, knew it was. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't take away from Ned's. Shot. That was a good shot. Good I shot. lost. Good Put it on the leaderboard. Good, good shot. shot. That, 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 were you evil? Yeah, awesome game. Were you evil? I knew she was evil. 
All right. My theory was right. My theory was completely right. I should not. I cannot wait to see this. And Kyle's dead vote was a good, good, good call there. Actually, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. It didn't matter. I trusted that I wasn't drunk. So uh, like y'all not gonna get this off. Y'all gonna y'all not gonna get (laughs) turned around. All right, let's uh, let's get through this roll call real quick. Uh, Brody, as y'all probably know, is the innkeeper. Um, uh, n- none of his protections really mattered. None of the drunkings mattered either, uh, just by the way it fell. Uh, Matt, Robert Robert Matt, was yeah. the empath who correctly got a zero every night. Uh, Jeff was a clockmaker who was poisoned by the widow, so he learned a one instead of a two. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lynn was a chambermaid, uh, picked two people and got a one, but then was killed by the demon. Uh, Guami was the widow, who did get to see the grimoire this time. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah. (laughs) So Brody Brody learned a widow is in play, and and then Guami poisoned uh, Jeff. Manny was a soldier, uh, never once came into play. He was actually innkeeper drunk the whole time but that wouldn't have mattered anyway because he then he would have been protected by the innkeeper because for example the other Brody was basically doing jeff and manny and mm-hmm. neither one of those matter it doesn't matter which one's drunk for all intents and purposes sure. uh jen was a seamstress and then this previous night he learned that Brody and jeremy was not on the same team matthew's assassin who killed kyle because he didn't want that fortune teller information to continue Smart. on um, yeah, not a bad play. Ned, obviously the slayer. Kyle was a fortune teller who learned that Chris or Jeremy was a demon. Uh, his red herring was Manny, the soldier. Because why not? <laughs> uh, Jeremy was the Poe who charged last night because uh, he figured it was about the best chance he could have, I think, at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, Chris was the noble who learned that one of Brody guami or kyle was evil which um i thought was a pretty good selection uh, i think yeah. it made it pretty interesting mm-hmm. uh, and then candace was the witch who obviously he she was this close to getting brody killed yesterday but jen swooped in there with that nomination, right, with the nomination. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then uh at, at her first night she had a uh, cursed manny manny so it was between the two of y'all I was going back mm-hmm. and forth i was like one mm-hmm. of them was gonna go yeah. so, <laughs> like, i was I, purposely I, not nominating because i was like that's probably the only way they're gonna get rid of the soldier <laughs> without me finding out a lot <laughs> right, right. but i picked and, um, you night like, i picked you the first night i was like yeah, <laughs> yeah i was gonna pick me <laughs> then i thought i thought basically i thought brody was a great choice to learn who the uh, widow is only because of how the last game played out <laughs> yeah <laughs> nice. and he yeah. i have never seen somebody so excited in this game <laughs> we'll when, when Sam, he please tell me that you play. recorded this this is oh, recorded yeah. i'll see y'all yeah, next cool. week yay i can't wait <laughs> so uh let me uh yeah. I'll go and share. sorry a werewolf killer for outing your information but i just figured it oh. would be really good for math no you didn't out it came for me that's fine man that worked out <laughs> <laughs> And yeah. guess, all right, uh, let's get Ned on this smart. leaderboard. Please, yes, finally. I know. Yeah. That now that I, I, I got scared, right, but okay. now that I think about it, if if it didn't work, then the next, then we could just move on and kill whoever, even if it was yeah. me, just to move on also, and find I, out who it was. When the vote didn't go through, I was like, well, okay, might as well try it before I get killed. Yeah. Well, the vote I had see. gone through, though. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's I why I was like, was yeah, why did you shoot me? Yeah. I thought, I thought it was one short because too, so many people took their hands out. I thought it didn't. Yeah, yeah no, Matthew Kyle took, took it down. And, yeah, yeah. He, oh. he he just put it back up right at the last minute because he was like, oh, I missed yeah. it. Okay, Matthew, well, had um, his, Matthew had his hand Had you not shot, we would have been able to at least tie the vote. Hail Mary or something. With the Eagle team, I'd have got three good thing I missed that. Maybe, Candace, maybe you were able to witch. One of them, and one of them dies by nominating. So, well, Brody did die by nominating you. So, I. Yeah, but I mean, if we we would have, you know, because I was going to nominate Jen, mm-hmm. we would have probably tied the votes. Worst right. case scenario with four us, of four. us. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, because Ned did that, we didn't have a shot. So I mean, it, it was <laughs> it was a good shot. We can't. So you would have tried to tie the vote, and I probably yeah, would have killed absolutely. myself, and, and then that have. would have. Yeah, no, then I would have killed myself by by voting for myself and then immediately turn the sus back on Jeremy again. So, so my yeah. so my, my favorite part where is Chris is bluffing Klutz and chooses 
Guami and it's like, and the game doesn't end. He's like, Jeremy, or uh, yeah, Jeremy, that's how you do it. Guami was evil. <laughs> they lied. I wasn't klutz. <laughs> if you were really klutz, you would have just lost the game. I wouldn't have picked Which, Guami. That put me on sus on Candace, who kept saying, it can't be. We got, we got outsiders. Like, no, we don't. It's like the klutzes weren't klutzes. Nope. I, the more. I went in there and talked to Guami and said I was the klutz because I just want to see what happens. He claimed it and he was hardcore taking it, so I just backed off and I was. He came out and nominated me. I died. I pretended to keep going with it. Then the next day, I decided I'm not going to tell anybody that I'm not the klutz because I still don't believe Guami based on my noble information. I thought he was the liar with mm -hmm. with uh, Kyle dying and Brody coming out as innkeeper. I believed him, so I was like, I'm just going to keep it to myself. And well, you told me. I told but... a couple people yeah. that I trusted, yeah. but yeah, yeah. Hey, Kyle, that's kind of I... why I didn't back off it because I was like, "Let's kill Guam because he seems." That was a, I, had I, that, to Jeremy, I had most of that conversation have... recorded, and it was great. Yeah. Yeah. If I had yeah. to Jeremy, I would not have claimed gossip because I, what I was trying to do was use the assassin kill and pass it off. Yeah, I think it worked. Worked okay. It, it worked. But I, 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 I didn't think Kyle. it was gossip at all. I don't yeah. appreciate you coming into the room and lying. The gossip belief was you. You. You guys killed the fortune teller and the chambermaid. Yeah, that was rough. I was like, it's, yeah. it's definitely not a gossip kill. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, there's no there way. Was, was We're like, not oh. that close to figuring out yeah. the demon. And it's, again, yeah. there's right. three minions, so only one of them's missing. It's, right. yeah. I mean, it's yeah. yep. fairly clear. And I was pretty uh, sure it was a witch and assassin. I just yeah. didn't. I think after the, after we talked, Jen, Guami yeah, came in, and I chatted with Guami, and I called Guami, I go, <laughs> I think Jen's going to push really hard on me today, and I think we're going to lose. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know when I think you're sus, and I'm just like, okay, let me move on to get to somebody else because I need more information. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think when Jeremy got tried to gossip that I was – tried to gossip I was good, and that did work, that that was probably nail in the coffin. I That's what I told Guami. I was like, well, this – because I thought that uh, Jen picked – you and Guami were his uh, seamstress <laughs> yeah. picks. So. Yeah. Good, good, when good when Jeremy and Matthew like, yeah. I don't, I don't like good people lying to me the all the time. Of the night. <laughs> Kyle and uh, nonsense. The the day. I thought that was really brilliant of Kyle. Uh, yeah. Kyle, the way you did that and really lied smart. to Jeremy about the your pings and yeah, that was uh, that was that really was good. good. Yeah. Jeremy, you've had an you've had an absolute blinder of a night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. I even I even went to him. Sleep it off, Jeremy. Sleep it off. I even went to him on day one. So yeah. there's no way there's... he's the demon on a re rack. Like it there's no way he's the demon again. I didn't think so yeah. either. But I I have it I have it on video. Random. I was still recording between one game. Well, you know the, the game that didn't go and then. I have it on video that I randomized. Oh, I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When well, I heard it was Jeremy, and... I literally went, oh, no. <laughs> well, and Jeremy Jeremy has a slight tell when he's like to either make somebody look sus or uh, convince them of something. He he will want to go and talk to them and pro try to like keep them in a room. So when he did that to me, I was like, uh, all right. So Jeremy definitely <laughs> probably is evil. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's a, a basis on whether Brody is evil, and I just kept thinking, you know what? If there there is a widow, and they know that there's three, they're not going to self poison. What's the point? You might yeah. as well poison somebody else. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. It's it, I, as soon as you started talking, Jen, and when you told me who you picked, I was like, I don't know how I'm going <laughs> to spin this. Yeah, and you, Lynn, you were right about my defense. I was trying to get myself killed. Yeah. Yeah. Just. I could tell because you were like bluffing. Like when you talk, when you and I had that conversation, you were like, "I don't want to reveal my thing," and I'm like, "There's nothing on this roll sheet left that is like that closed off." Like it sounds like damsel. Yeah. I'm like, "There's no way." That's my only hope is to make yeah. myself look more so. Well, and that's yeah. why I wanted to go for Guami because knowing what I knew about the noble information, uh, might as well shoot for somebody else that might be evil just to see if it could be him. You know. You yeah. felt like somebody who wanted to die, so I don't want to kill you. I want to kill the other person that doesn't want to die. Yeah, yep. I, I, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't bluffing about being the clock maker. I was, I mean, when I took my hand down, I was like, oh no, but yeah, I was yeah. just like, I, I whatever. You both did it almost at the same time. So yeah. It was like you didn't <laughs> yeah. have time to react. Yeah. Well, that was another game of insiders. Interesting game. Hope you enjoyed the klutz versus klutz, <laughs> where he was like, I'm just totally taking you out. <laughs> so it was fun. Good game. 
Enjoyed playing against Guami and everybody else. Winning once again. Good team. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you next time.